Like that intro, huh? Getting all fancy and shit. Hey guys, it's Alex. So what are we going to talk about today? We're talking data logging. It's a kind of an overdue video because it's uh, something I've kind of stayed away from because I prefer you go out and, and research it on your own so that you can get well versed. But it seems to be a common occurring question. Data logging, data logging, data logging. If you're getting a tune, remote tune, from a premium Ford tuner, you know, uh, there's a couple out there, shall remain nameless, but you know, we do pretty good. Um, you need to learn how to data log the car. And if it's supercharged, you absolutely need to learn how to data log the car. It is up to you to learn to data log so that we can see what's going on with the car and we could adjust. What I don't want you to do is get a base file, then go to a dyno night and you know beat on the car and then complain how the car didn't make as much power as your buddy's car or it's running lean or it's a, look, you stay away from wide open throttle until you are told to do so by your tuner, period. That's kind of how it goes. You contracted him to do the tune, listen to him. Do not fight him every step of the way. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna look, you know, teach you real quick how to data log the car. We're gonna have three devices, okay? And only one is gonna need actual teaching. The other two kind of do it on their own. So real quick, what are there out there for options for 11 and up Mustangs? Well, there's the N-Gage, okay? HP Tuners has a version, Lund Racing has a version. They both log similarly. Um, they are real easy. You go into the Diagnostics menu, click Data Logging, select which configuration, hit a button. It's kind of, it's kind of preloaded on there. The ones that people have the most problem with and are most confused about, sorry about the finger, is this guy. The SCT X4, in my opinion, sorry it's dark, you know, I'm not really a production MF, I don't have the fancy cameras everyone has nowadays. So the SCTX4, in my opinion, is is powerful and superior to many. Now I'm not nut riding SCT. Uh, if you want to get an N-Gage, get an N-Gage. Um, I prefer not to tune with an HP tuner's N-Gage. It's just more of a pain in the butt. If you're going to get a Lund Racing N-Gage, only they can tune it. So don't ask me to tune a Lund Racing N-Gage. It's not going to happen. And SCT though, I can tune anyone and anyone. Anyone, everyone and their mom can get tuned by this. But the data logging scares the shit out of people. People are just just all bent out of shape well let's get you going real quick just so that you can get set up data logging I can't believe I'm saying this but the first thing you got to do is plug this sucker in to the OBD2 port oh yeah she likes it so it should light up momentarily ta-da now if you have a 15 and up Mustang one of the first things we're gonna want you to do is go over to your vehicle info if you did not receive a tune file yet some people tune differently but let's go to vehicle info Boop continue and then it'll ask it'll give you it'll spit out what is going on with the car the VIN number the SWPN a little bit of everything so right now I'm tuning this car on a Roush strategy FPFR 1AB which is 13 to 14 Mustang the reason I like FPFR 1AB even though my car is an 11 to 12 is uh, there's some things in there that I prefer to tune with okay and there's my ECU SWPN and my VIN number ah my VIN number oh my god you're gonna find out what car so anyway what happens is on 15s and up, there's so many different strategies that we need to get the e we need to get the EC ECU SWPN to tune the car properly. That's us at VMP. Other people do it differently, but that's probably one of the first things we need to know about your car. Okay, there's on 15s and up, it'll be like FR3A. On a 2016, it'll say GR3A, and on 17 and up Mustang, it'll be like HR3A. <clears throat> then it'll be like 14C204 in the center, and uh, and uh, the last two will be like TC, if it's a 17 and up, or if it's like a 6, 15, 16, it'll say EGC, EGB, LMNOP, whatever. Okay, now let's get this thing uh, configured to start recording some data. Your SCT comes with this cable. We're going to use it. Shove it in the hole. Shove this in a hole. Boop. Oh, she likes it. Download and open live link gen 2 it's a must it's not optional you have to download this program with sct absolutely a must you're going to go in here you're going to select i want to i want to data log a vehicle Doop. this is touchscreen fancy it's going to go through the steps fancy it's going to ask you to you know plug it in it's plugged in ask you to start the engine i'll start the engine fuck it piss off the neighbors why not there you go check communications I know I sound really stupid but look I got to go step through step step by step because a lot of you guys 
get really bent out of shape when it comes to doing this process. We have to have you do this. There it is, ta-da, there's my serial number, device, the strategy, all that stuff. Now, nine times out of 10, if your tuner's a real nice guy, he'll get you a configuration file and you're gonna load the config and go find it. Oh, come on, baby. So, the config I use is this guy, all manual, all manual cam stuff. I know my exhaust is rattly a little bit. And there they are. There's my shit right then and there, ready to start recording. I have to turn it off because I have a rattly exhaust. Okay, so the way you start recording is simple. Yeah, yeah, hit the green button. And then you follow your tuner's instructions from then on out. He's going to say, I want an idle log. So you get the car up to operating temperature and you let that sucker record idle for about a minute and a half or two minutes after it's up to temperature. Then he's going to say, I want a slow rev log. Well, I'm going to show what a slow rev log looks like with the car off. So I'm going to I'm going to go down here and deselect, uncheck all items. So now nothing is really checked except one up here. I'm going to check RP, actually uh, throttle angle actual. Where are you, buddy? There you are. So there's your throttle, okay? Ain't shit happening. But a slow rev log Basically, they want you in neutral, in a gear, to slowly bring the RPMs up, to sample the math frequency from idle all the way up to about 5,500 RPMs. So this is what it'll look like. See my foot? How it's steadily climbing. One. Slow, give it more gas, more gas, more gas. More and more gas, more and more gas. A little more, a little more, see? Try to be as linear and as smooth as possible. Take about a 30 second, 30 second, uh, you know, time frame to get everything up to snuff. Up to uh, 5,000 RPM. Bah! Then you let off. See, I let off the throttle. You want to see what wide open throttle looks like? Check it out. See, it's a big old fucking spike up here. That's how we know you're going wide open throttle. So that's it. Idle, slow revs, and then you stop recording. Okay, and then you go to the top left and say, save data log. And you call it dildo, you call it whatever the hell you want. Typically, Live Link kind of saves it for you, data log one. Then you save, and then you send us that. That's it. Now, if the tuner did not send you a configuration file and you have to pick it yourself, this, these are the steps. If your tuner bro didn't send you a configuration file, well, you want to create a data log configuration file. The vehicle could be, it's either available or it's not. Let's say it's available because that's the way you guys are going to do it. Click next. You're going to check communications again. It's going to be kind of a long video, guys. I apologize. But look, this, this is going to be so helpful, it's not even funny. All right, check communications. All good. Now it's going to spit out the strategy and the way it's communicating. It's going to use previously validated list of items, validate all other items. I'm going to say do not validate. Load the complete list. Select items. And there it is, the list that populated. Now, they sent you a list of what they want recorded. Nine times out of ten, it's pretty straightforward. There is a find box or a search function. You can go R, P, M, enter, and... All the RPM stuff tends to show up. We prefer you load the blue stuff, the PIDs, okay? So right here, where are you, mouse? Come on, mouse. There's RPM, right there. RPM, select it. Boom. Now, we know we want to know record mile per hour. We know we want to record load. Load is very important. <laughs> okay, forget the green stuff on a Coyote and Up stuff and forget the, 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 the DMRs. Actually, you can just load PIDs only. That's what we're going to want to see. And then typically what you're going to want to record is this. RPM, short-term fuel trim, long-term fuel trims. You know, sh so there's short-term fuel trim, bank one and bank two. Okay. You're going to want to measure on 11 and up coyotes, measured AFR bank one and two because this car has wide bands. Yeah, Chevy, this car has wide bands in 2011. It does not have a fuel rail pressure sensor, but GT500s do. So you're going to want to record those for GT500. You're also going to want to record MAF frequency. That is super important. Older cars go by volts. Recording MAF flow rate pounds per minute is important because we can kind of determine you know, how much air you're moving and determine horsepower by that point. But basically, here's your list. And your tuner is going to send you a list of all the shit he wants you to see. After you're done completing the list, you go over and say configure data log. It's going to ask you to name it. You can name it my, my config. And you save it. 
it's going to ask you to save it somewhere. Save it somewhere. I'm going to save it to the desktop so it doesn't confuse the shit out of me. Oh, I know, I know, I know. There's many things popping up. And you save it. And then it populates. There's just the things I picked real quick. There it is. It's already saved. You got it. You're good to go. Now, now we're going to start playing ball, baby. But there's another way of data logging that's going to blow your guys' mind. You're going to go, oh, man, the Engage does everything touch screen. Well, guess what? This little fucker does something similar. Check it out. Go ahead and export configured items to device. Export directly to device, yes. And what are we going to call it? I'm going to call it my ass because I'm a dick like that. We're going to call it my ass and watch what happens when I export it to the device. When I hit export, watch what happens, how it pops up in the device. Engage data log. Configuration. Look at that. What did we call it? We called it my ass. See, I have red card, 2015 on red card, and this is all pre-configured stuff in the device already. So we called it my ass. We're gonna we're gonna data log with my ass. Dun -da -da, and look it, it's gonna come up with oh my god, shit you can see live. You can see what's happening live and it's all moving. <gasps> but I thought only one device could do that. Actually, this guy can do that too. You can mount this fucker. I know it's kind of big and cumbersome, but guess what? You can you can see alcohol percentage, whatever you want to see. If you select one of the cells, so let's go here. It's red item. Click it. The center button here is kind of the enter key. And what do you want to see? Hell, I want to see load. I want to see my load, baby. Then you click approve. Load as infraction. I don't want to see cam position. I want to see knock sensor. Knock sensor. You could do that and you could see eight things at the same fucking time, okay? I mean, an insane amount of data. This is very powerful. How do you record? Well, check this shit out. Uh, 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 uh. Cancel. Let's back out. Nothing's read. Nothing selected. Holy shit. It's recording a data log when I pushed a button. I don't know why it's flickering like that. Oh, I'm taking pictures. That's why. It records one data log at a time. So anytime you want to go out and do a wad hit, boom, record. And the moment you hit it again, it stops recording. Now, if you hit it one more time, oh, sorry. If you hit it one more time, it erases the previous data log, starts recording again. So what do I tell people? Capture an idle log, sorry, idle log, a slow rev log, and a wide open throttle log all in one log. Yeah, it's a little long, but us students can whittle through the log and see what's happening. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rev it a couple times. I gotta, I gotta focus this sucker, this is ridiculous. There we go. We're gonna rev it a couple times, okay? And stop recording. Come on, focus, baby. Boom, so I stopped recording. Car is off. I'm gonna disconnect this, I'm gonna disconnect it from the car even, just so that this sucker's not even on. And then you want to import a data log from a device. Would you look at that? Go through the process of the steps. Connect your device. Check communications with the device again, as is tradition. And import data. Oh, holy shit, would you look at that? Importing data, deselect all items, RPM, and you'll see those two quick little throttle blips I gave it after you hit max. There's those two throttle blips. Vroom, vroom. Okay, guys, what do you do with this once you've imported it from the device? Same steps as before. Top left, save, data log, whatever the hell you want to call it, and then send it to your tuner. That's it. You can data log with this device. Now, you absolutely need to learn how to data log. No fucking around. There are no two ways about it. That's the way we can dial in your car remotely. You guys have no excuse. I am telling you, no excuse as to, well, I don't know how to data log. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look, this is a very crude, and, 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 but, but the easiest way I could bring you ways how to data log with an SCT device, okay? It is very easy. Once you learn it once or twice, you're done. I mean, you, you got this. The only way we can dial your car in is through data logs. Do not go wide open throttle with a base file and then complain about it on Facebook because I see that all the time. Be smart. Learn how to data log. You put big chunks of money into the car to make it go quick. The last thing you want to do is start skimping on how to data log it properly and then we won't know how it's running. Then you're going to complain on Facebook how, they, how your tuner sucks. Don't be that guy.
use this video as a guide, even though it's rough and kind of jacked up. It'll help you data log your car and get it running better. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later.